Hi, I'm James McNamee, and I'm a consultant with Iontech, and this is... And I'm Victor Jury, and I'm a technical architect. And we're back, and today we're going to talk about some trends in information architecture. Great. <laughs> so, what I would like to discuss, actually, is uh, the wireframing process. Uh, even though it's not brand new, a lot more people are gravitating to rapid prototyping. So they're, they're moving away from grayscale, flat wireframes and offering something that's a bit more interactive. Um, so with the right software, you can actually provide uh, an experience in the meeting on the actual device that the client's audience or a customer is going to view their content. So yeah. if you wanted to create a wireframe that was for an iPad app, uh, you could you can make that and then display it on an iPad. You can touch it, you can move it, you can have things going on, but it still is a wireframe. It's not the full design or anything. Yeah. But it really starts to generate some really good feedback, which is sometimes hard to get in those meetings. That's right. So it really is kind of the a combination between the flat wireframes and the interaction model. But now you're kind of bringing it to life, if you will, exactly. so that people can interact with it and so on and give you real-time feedback as to, hey, how is this functioning, right? A wireframe kind of explains, you know, how does it look, how is it more or less going to work. The interaction model then shows you, you know, kind of the different uh, features that it's going to have. But when you actually kind of yeah. rapidly prototype that stuff, yeah. it just, it really brings the experience to life. Absolutely. You made a great yeah. point. Like if you click on something or if something's supposed to happen on hover, you usually have to annotate that on a flat wireframe. But in this case, you can be like, just yeah. click it. So uh, what kind of tools do you use uh, for that? There's, uh, one of my favorites actually, especially for mobile wireframes, whether it's an app or a website, is uh, Axure uh, okay. for a couple reasons. One, you can apply effects very easily, out of the box effects. You can leverage a library of widgets to you know, incorporate some functionality that way into the wireframes as keyboard shortcuts. And although you can use you know, hotkeys for Visio like Control K to do links in the PDF or PowerPoint, you can do some animations. This is, it's just a really fun piece of software to, to make something um, because it instantly generates HTML and JavaScript for you. So it feels like what you're presenting to the client was done by six people and it was really just one resource. So um, you can really, as I mentioned, get some real good ideas going and get that hard to get feedback without writing a single line of code. Fantastic. Uh, one that I use is uh, Sketchflow, which is a uh, Microsoft Expression uh, product. It's uh, very good kind of for developers, so you need to have the experience with C Sharp and XAML and all that sort of stuff, but it allows you to very quickly you know, create the wireframe experience and then create animation. So, you know, you click on a particular button and it animates the drop down menu or, you know, whatever other kind of experience, whether it's a pop up or, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And it has little components that you can just kind of drop into the product and then configure and then, you know, your little animation happens. And uh, it, it creates it to be very interactive. It also has a component so that, you know, once you kind of publish your prototype out there, uh, you know, multiple people can go on and give you feedback about, you know, oh, I like the way that this is, uh, the drop down is animating, or can we change this to red, and all that gets saved into a central repository. So, That's great. Uh, it's yeah. so helpful. Yeah. Because the feedback is. We were talking is, earlier. Yeah, the feedback's great, but the file management with a system like this, yeah. because you don't have multiple versions of PDFs going around or PowerPoints with people's initials on them and they're an email and they're in a repository somewhere else, one central place yep. to look at something that's interactive, yep. that's just awesome. Fantastic. Uh, the last little tool that I can mention is uh, Proto.io, which um, essentially is more towards the flat uh, wireframing, uh, but it has a lot of the controls, it's free, it's online, and people can collaborate very easily on it, so that would be another tool that I'd recommend. Great. Yeah, so concerning wireframes for a mobile app, website, regular website, flat wireframes, rapid prototyping. I'm yeah. James McNamee. And I'm Victor Durek. And we can help you at iintech.com. Thanks. <laughs>